Example number seven. Largest value of least. Use the for loop to find the largest value of the least. So we will use the for loop here in this example to identify the largest value of the least. Initially, largest equals to none. So at very first stage, at the initial stage, there is no largest value. It is unknown. Take print of loops, colons, items, colons, largest, colons. And then for number in 3, 2, 1, 7, 6, 11. If largest is none, a number is greater than largest, then largest equals to number. Print loops inside the double quotes, comma number, comma largest. And take print of largest inside the double quotes, comma largest. When you run it, you will get this output. This will be the final output. This is the answer for this program. Look at here, what do we do? We use for loop to find the largest value of the least. Initially, largest value equals to none. So at the very first stage, at the initial stage, the largest value is unknown. Then take the print of loops, colons, items, colons, largest, colons inside the double quotes, and then use for loop for numbers in 3, 2, 1, 7, 6, 11. This is the list of the numbers. We use a for loop, put colons, press the enter button, your new line will start from here. Now, if largest is none, a number is greater than largest, then largest equals to number. Look at here. What this expression says, this expression says that if largest is none initially, it is pointing towards the initial stage. If largest is none, or the number is greater than largest, then largest equals to number. Look, the for loop will iterate each and every single number step by step. If the number, if the respective number is greater than the largest one, then this will be the largest number. It is a simple logic. Then to take a print of loops, comma number, comma largest. Again, take the print of largest, comma largest. When you look to the output, this first line is because of this print function. We have print of loops, colon, items, colon, largest, colons. Look at here, initially we said largest equals to none. It is not known, largest value is not known. And then print of loops, colons, items, colons, largest, colons. Then we use for loop for number in 3, 2, 1, 7, 6, 11. This is the list of the numbers. These are different numbers. So I gave the name number here for number. These individual numbers is represented by the number, by the name number. Then I put colons, press the enter button, your new line will start from here. There I have used the conditional statement, conditional statement, if. If largest is none, a number is greater than largest. What do we mean by this? We have used our logical operators. R is a logical operator here. For the R, at least one term should be true. Look at here. When you look to the first term, largest is none. If largest is none, it is true because we said largest equals to none. It is true. What about the second term? The second term says that number is greater than largest. First, it will check number three. If the number is greater, if this number is greater than largest, then largest equals to number. That number will be the largest value. Then it will iterate on the two. If two is greater than the largest, then the previous largest, which is three, then two will be the largest. So each and every step, the for loop will iterate and it will identify the largest value step by step. Now, when you look to the print function here, for the print, we have print of loops, colons inside the double quotes, comma number, comma largest. It is this part. This part is because of this point function here. Loop colon is here, number are these, and largest values are these. Similarly, this print function is the largest value. The final, the outmost print function, the outer print function is for the largest value. At the end, you will print the largest value, where largest value is 11. 11 is the largest value. Look, this is loop. 3 is the number and largest value is 3. This is the very first value. Then the loop will iterate over the second number which is 2. As I said, this part is because of this print function. We have to look to this print function. 
for the second number for the two the number is two and the largest value is still three still three because three is greater than two so still the three is for the second number as well three is the largest among these two values so far now the for loop will iterate our one one is a number here number here and what about the largest the largest value is still three three is the largest value three is greater than two and one so for among these three values three is the largest value now the for loop will iterate or seven the number is seven here and the largest value is seven now so seven is the largest value at this point from here up to here so far the largest value is seven now so three has been replaced by seven the largest value is seven so far when it rate or six the number will be six here still the largest the largest value will be seven up to here from here up to here the largest value will be seven so for the six we have seven which is the largest value now finally the for loop will iterate or the last value which is 11 so the number the number will be 11 but the largest value at this point will be 11 so 7 has been replaced by 11 from here up to here the largest value will be 11 this part is because of this print function now when it comes to the last print function which is the outermost print function it comes under global scope the largest value the largest look this largest colon is because of this largest inside the double quotes comma largest largest so among all these values among all these values the largest value is 11 11 is the largest values among all these items so there we got the largest value of the list 11 is the largest value of the list i hope you got the point now but let me repeat it again initially we set largest equals to none so largest value is none at the initial point we don't know about it then we use print function print off loops colons items colons and largest colons inside the double quotes so this will be printed in the output this is the line of because of this print function in the output loops items largest what are items items are actually the numbers you can also put numbers here it is up to you it is just a name then we used the for loop here for number in three two one seven six eleven this is the list of the numbers i gave the name number here this number is just the name i gave the name number to these items so all these items are represented by the number now then i put colons press the enter button your new line will start from here I have used the conditional statement conditional statement which is if statement now I have used our logical operator here so if largest is none or number is greater than largest then largest equals to number look we have two parts two statements one is largest is none and the second one is if number is greater than largest for the R logical operator at least one term one statement must be true must be satisfied if both of the statements are true or at least one statement is true then the condition will be satisfied for the R logical operator now here when you look to the first term largest is none it is true because initially we said largest equals to none so it is absolutely true there is no problem the first term is true but what about the second one the second one says that if number is greater than largest if that specific number is greater than the largest one then largest equals to number then that largest then that number will be the largest value so at least one term is satisfied therefore this if statement will be executed now under this if statement we have again print statement print statement we put print statement like loops comma number comma largest loop is this loop with the colons and the numbers these are numbers three two one seven six eleven comma largest these are the largest these are the largest values so this part is because of this representation this print function then we have used another print function which is the outermost print function 
this aftermost point function is for the largest value what is the single largest value among all these values of the list which is this one so largest colons is here because of this largest colon inside the double quotes and then comma largest this is because of the largest so just to be clear that in the output this line this menu this kind of menu this line is because of this print function from here up to here is because of this body and also from here from here up to here is because of this whole part this whole region this last line is because of this print function this print function so I hope you got the point now so loops comes under loops numbers comes under items largest values comes under this largest these are just like a table the name of the titles let me repeat again first for loop iterates or three this is the first value it will check the number is three and the largest value is also three it is for the first value then the for loop will iterate or the second value which is two so the number is two now and the largest value is still three because three is greater than two from here up to here the largest value is still three then the for loop will iterate over one so the number the number is one here now but the largest value is still three three because from here up to here the largest value is still three then the for loop iterates or seven the number is seven by now and the largest value the largest value is seven now from here up to here the largest value is seven so three has been replaced by seven now because seven is greater than three then the for loop iterates over six here so the number is six but the largest value is still seven because from here up to here the largest value is seven seven is greater than six so seven is still the largest value then the for loop iterates over the last value which is 11 the number the number is 11 now and the largest value is 11 so 7 has been replaced by 11 11 is larger than the 7 now when it comes to this point function it will identify a single largest value so largest colons comma largest what is the largest value the largest value is 11 so 11 is the largest value among all these numbers of the list look I know you have still confusion in this part that what we mean by number is greater than largest so if number is greater than largest then largest equals to number so if number is greater than largest then largest equals to that number so still 3 is the largest value but when it iterates our 2 2 now the number is 2 what was the largest last time the largest was 3 if it is greater than largest then the largest equals to number but now still 3 is the largest value then it iterates our 1 the number is 1 here what was largest last time last time largest was 3 so largest equals to number if in case the number is greater than largest but 1 is not greater than largest which was 3 therefore still the 3 is the largest similarly when it iterates our 7 7 is the number by now 7 is greater than largest what was the previous largest value the previous largest value was 3 so 7 is greater than 3 therefore largest equals to that number what was that number that number was 7 so 7 is the largest value now similarly when it iterates over 6 6 is the number by now what was the previous largest value the previous largest value was 7 no 6 is not greater than 7 so if such is the case if number is greater than largest if 6 is greater than largest then the largest equals to number but 6 is not greater than 7 therefore still 7 is the largest when it iterates over 11 now 11 is the number what was largest largest means the previous largest value the previous largest value was 7 so yes 11 is greater than 7 therefore largest equals to that number which number 11 11 will be the largest value 